It doesn't matter what the market is. It matters what your audience size is. So audience, what is the difference between audience and market? Well, there's a huge market of people who love listening to heavy metal music. But if I turn up and do a heavy metal concert, it doesn't matter how big the market is, right? It only matters how many people show up to see me. So that's called my audience, right? So Metallic has a very large audience within a relatively small heavy metal market. I have no audience in a heavy metal market. Audience is paying attention. These are the people who are paying attention to you. So you need to have to, you have to get people paying attention. That's the first goal um, of, of uh, the audience. The other thing too, is you need them to signal that they're paying attention. It's not enough for them to be anonymously watching. They have to signal that they're watching. They have to signal that they're interested in your business. And that's what we call an audience. So the first thing we wanna do is to have an audience building strategy. And I've got a few of these. In fact, I've got four. I'm going to list for you four audience building strategies. The first one is a waiting list. So you actually tell people, I'm going to be launching something. It's going to be really cool. Would you like to join the waiting list? All right. So you might say, hey, we're launching a new piece of software or I'm launching a new coaching program. I'm going to be running a retreat in Ibiza. Right. Would you like to join the waiting list to get more information as it becomes available? So that's a waiting list. Uh, that's option number one. Option number two is a WhatsApp group. So you say, I'm going to be launching a new thing. And in the lead up to the launch, I'm running in a WhatsApp group. Would you like to join the WhatsApp group? All right, it's for people who are interested in X, Y, and Z. Do you want to join the WhatsApp group um, is, is one of the first things. And it's really easy with the WhatsApp group. They give you a, um, a QR code. They give you a link. So you literally just share with people. Do you want to join the WhatsApp group? It's for people who want to run their first marathon. Um, if you're interested in running your first marathon, join my first marathon WhatsApp group, right? So that would be the next one. Uh, and the, sorry, uh, WhatsApp group or Facebook group. The third one is a an event. An event could be, uh, think of it as an introduction presentation. It could be a live event. It could be on Zoom. Um, it could be a meetup that you run in a, uh, in a community, WeWork or something like that. But it's essentially, it's a just an event where people turn up and they join you for an event. Okay, and the fourth one, which is the absolute best by far, is a survey, quiz, or scorecard. And the reason a survey, quiz, or scorecard is great is because you collect a ton of data. You're getting people to explicitly give you data. So you might ask people, what is your price point that you're happy with? You might ask people, what is the key features that you want covered? You might ask people, what is the problem that you're trying to solve? So a survey, a quiz, or a scorecard is absolutely powerful because when someone just joins a WhatsApp group or joins an event, you don't know much about them. But when someone fills in a quiz or a survey or a scorecard, you get to know 20, 30 things about them, and that is super powerful. So if I'm launching any new business, what am I doing? I'm starting with a, a, a waiting list, a group, an event, or a scorecard, or, all, or a combination of all four of those things. So those are my big audience builders, right? That's where I'm trying to get the audience up. How many people am I trying to build? <clears throat> so what I need is I need to figure out how many sales I want to make in the first 90 days of launch or how many sales I want to make in the next 90 days. And I need an audience that is 10 to 20 times bigger than that number. So if I want to make 10 sales, I need an audience of 100 to 200 people to be confident of my 10 sales initially. If I want to have 30 sales, I'm going to need 300 to 600 people in my audience in order to feel confident. Um, so I, I spoke to someone the other day where they said, oh, yeah, I, uh, you know, I tried out what you said and I got three people to join my WhatsApp group. And I'm like, you need to go back to the drawing board. So the audience, um, if I know if I want to make 10 sales, I need 100 to 200 people in my group, my waiting list. Um, or uh, any of those things. Uh, I said group, waiting list, survey, scorecard, um, uh, WhatsApp group, any of those. So let's say I've got a WhatsApp group and I've got 100 people in it. I literally send you a message. Hi, Billy. Um, I, as I told you, I'm getting ready to launch this software. Would it be possible to have a Zoom call or meet up in person and just find out a little bit about what it is you're trying to solve? I really want to get that into the product as soon as I possibly can. And as a, as a, um, as a thank you, when the product's ready, I'll give you a discount. This is the first test. What do you do? You send DMs. You send emails to people. Um, you join groups and you comment on groups. You don't need to spend any money to get an audience. You, you should be able to get an audience initially without doing that.